composition. What's up? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm just realizing I'm wearing a white shirt. Oh, the white back up. One second. All right, there we go. One uh, might say I'm more composed now. <laughs> Now there's a reason why this video is titled Five Photo Composition Ideas, Not Rules. And that's because tons of people will tell you to follow the rules in composition. You know, you have rule of thirds, straight horizons, making sure you don't put the horizons through your subject heads, don't cut off limbs, golden spiral, I don't. The truth is, a lot of them say that you can follow the rules, but you're free to break them. And so it's kind of confusing. It's like, do I follow the rules, do I not? I don't know. So, I'm making this video so that you can see both how I follow the rules and how I break them, how I combine those two to create interesting compositions. I'm obsessed with centeredness because I'm obsessed with symmetry. I'm really heavily influenced by people like Wes Anderson, Max Wenger, Ben Heisch, who do centeredness very well. In all reality, it seems like centeredness, centering a shot is very easy, but some people don't realize how difficult it can be. Because it doesn't just mean putting your subject in the center, it means balancing the image out, putting things on either side that will make sure what is centered looks centered. Number two is negative space. I really love using negative space in a really epic landscape where your subject might be really small and the landscape might be really vast and large. Now the reason for this is that it draws attention to your subject in a way that interprets how small they are in the vastness of what's happening. Rule of thirds. As I mentioned before, a lot of the composition videos will tell you that you need to put your subject on the intersection of those lines as the common rule of thirds. But I like to look at this through a different lens. Good one, Eric. <laughs> Whenever I'm considering the rule of thirds, I always want to balance out the image, dissecting it vertically, horizontally, basically just balancing it out in three different ways. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's my mom. Hey mom, what's up? Oh, hi buddy, I just called to see how you're doing and just wondering if those hemorrhoids are still really Mom! Clear. Again, a typical rule of composition to make things more interesting is put something in the foreground of your subject or the background of your subject to add a little bit more pizzazz. So that might mean putting something in front of your lens, twinkly lights behind them. Now, I love doing that, but what I really love doing is a double exposure with stuff in front and behind the subject. I did a whole video on double exposure, you should go check it out, links in the bio, it's a really cool video. But I like using string lights, stars, city lights, things that make the scene and the frame more interesting rather than just maybe two people. People will talk about this in composition videos all the time. Don't put the horizon through the head of your subject. I wholeheartedly agree. Don't do it, it looks bad. It also goes for tons of other things. Lines in buildings, door frames, other inanimate objects that are just piercing through people's heads and bodies in a way that doesn't look natural. If you're gonna put them in a door frame, you fit them within the door frame. If you're gonna put a tree behind them, maybe offset the tree so it's not growing out of their heads. Figure out ways in which you can fit them naturally into the scene. Now one thing I have noticed over the years is that some of my best and favorite portfolio images are when I combine these ideas together. Maybe two or three of them all in one and it creates just an amazing image. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the little thumbs up. It means uh, that you liked it in the digital world. That's what really matters. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know, if you want to, please share this with a friend. That'd be fun. Maybe like some real social interaction. That'd be cool. If you want to see some more of my work, I'm at eric.floberg on Instagram. Go ahead, check that out. Drop me a DM. And although I was away for a while, I plan on banging out some more videos in the next few weeks. That was really weird words that came out of my mouth. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.
Uh, I have to go. I'm filming a video right now, Mom. Oh. Okay, okay. yeah. Alright, bye.